Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today we're going to take a look at um, some stylus comparisons. And partly what it is is I was asked by some people um, whether or not there's any uh, tablet or um, accessory that does not have uh, any type of lag uh, when using uh, the pen. Uh, so we'll take a look at all the ones I have. I have right here is my Samsung Galaxy Note 12, my Surface Pro 3. I also have my, my Surface... Pro 1. I'm also going to take a look at my my old Asus Slate uh, EP121. And lastly, we're going to compare it to a Wacom tablet because this is my Intuos 3. I haven't had a, I haven't bought any new ones in a while, but you know we'll take a look to see how this dedicated uh, directly connected USB tablet compares to all these tablets that um, well have pen built into them. So. Let's take a look and uh, we'll start looking at a couple of them and uh, we'll talk about and compare how the cursor tracks. Okay, first up we're going to take a look at my old Asus EP121. It's a number of years old now and um, it's just to kind of prove that uh, the Wacom technology that was put into the Surface Pro 1 and 2s uh, is pretty much the same technology that had been around for a while now. So um, basically to eliminate that is not a new problem, uh, any of the lag that you may or may not see. Um, I apologize, I'm not sure why this screen, I think the refresh of the screen is kind of weird, so my camera's picking up a lot of weird uh, artifacting. But let's take a look at um, so something real simple. So I have here a Sketchbook Pro, uh, and we'll take a look at the large brush size so we can kind of see how the uh, tracking is. So you can see the my cursor there, so it's a big marker tip. And as I wave it around, you see there is a bit of a lag. Um, so as I draw out, you can see that that's the kind of lag we're talking about. Some people are very disoriented by this kind of lag. Uh, it's it's relatively noticeable, but I would say you can get used to it, but it is something, once again, you have to get used to it. It's not an immediate, uh, an immediate thing like an actual pen on paper. So as you can see, that's how it goes. So this is my EP121. Uh, so that's how the how the lag um, for the for the well Wacom digitizer is like on this uh, tablet. So let's move on to another one. And okay, so we're going to take there. a look at the Surface Pro One now. This is the original Surface Pro that came out. It has a, has a similar built-in uh, Wacom digitizer. It actually uses the same type of pen that uh, uh, my EP121 used. Uh, so this one apparently the screen is, is good, better not better than the EP121 where in the camera doesn't pick up all that artifacting But we'll take a look at this now. So using sketchbook sketchbook pro um, Here's the uh, I have a large marker here. So you can see a large tip there. I'm hovering about uh, about close to an inch off the uh, The surface and even if I get closer, it still has the same type of lag So you, see, so you notice that if I go fast enough. If I go slow not too bad if I go fast you notice how it doesn't quite manage to keep up. Now, uh, and um, even if I'm going this way, you see it's got a little bit of a lag, just a tad bit. Uh, now, for you know, for some people, this is going to be quite a quite an annoyance. Uh, but you know, uh, there well, so far from what I've seen, there really isn't anything that doesn't have this kind of lag. Uh, it's just probably inherent in the, in the way the technology works. Uh, so, uh, so that's taking that's that's a look at how the the style of the, the stylus digitizer lag is on the Surface Pro 1. So we'll move on to some of the other ones and see if they're any better or worse. Okay, we're going to take a look now at the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. This is, this is Samsung's 12-inch uh, Android tablet. The Note series is uh, pretty much their line of tablets that actually have Wacom digitizers built into uh, the device similar to their phones. So, and uh, well, actually, so speaking of which then, uh, pens like my Surface Pro Pen will actually work on here as well. However, there is a bit of uh, calibration as far as like um, the uh, the pointer locations and, and so forth that may not quite match up. So we're using Sketchbook Pro again here. Um, I'm gonna basically use a, a marker tool and we'll go and basically take a look at, the, uh, at how it tracks. Now, as you can see, it has that similar problem where basically there's just a little bit of lag in there. So you see it kind of has a similar thing. Now, of course, uh, I haven't found a way for Sketchbook Pro on the, um, the Sketchbook on the uh, tablet to kind of show the large cursor like you can do on the Windows version. 
but but from their pointer you can see that with that that tiny bit of lag as well if i go fast enough it pretty much is pretty much behind me and so once again so for some folks it may be disorienting others may or may not it kind of depends on how how fast you will want to go when you're working with drawings or even taking notes something you're going to get used to um so yeah so you can see how, how it does that so once again so there is still that bit of lag even in the samsung galaxy note uh, series so we'll move on and take a so look now we'll move one. on to the the, the uh, microsoft surface pro 3. so this is the latest one now this difference now with this one is that microsoft has moved away from using wacom for their digitizer uh, for the surface pro 3 and now are using an entry so it's a little bit different and one difference is that uh, this digitizer here is battery powered it uses a quadruple a battery that you would find in here uh, and doing so basically uh, allows the device to be a little bit thinner because uh, and less uh, power hungry because the, it doesn't have an active uh, screen on the device and so therefore the pen has to do that work now so it's a little bit of a reverse of how wacom does it so or, or wacom however you want to pronounce it so if i go in here and we'll use notebook pro, uh, we'll use sketchbook pro again as an example uh i'll pick a, a large brush size here or mark with a mark with a large brush size and so we can see how well this this tracks now now once again even it, there is still that lag and I don't at this point I don't really believe it's really that possible to avoid this kind of lag, and um, so you can see I don't know if it's any, if it's any, any better. Uh, I've heard people say that the the Surface Pro three with this Entrig is um, less laggy. Um, I don't know. Uh, it definitely feels a little. It's it's, well, it's different. It's a little bit different. Uh, that's all I can say. It's kind of hard. You have to try it for yourself. But the, but the lag is still there. I think it doesn't have as large larger range, so so you're not it doesn't um well, once again it, it's it's there. All right, so I'll leave it at that. There is lag there. Um, so much of it will depend on how you feel uh, if you can get used to it. I don't know if it's any better or worse than the the the, the, the Wacoms or the Wacoms, but um you know it's still there. So the last thing we'll look at now is we're going to take a look at my uh, actual hardwired uh, Wacom tablet and let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky for me to film, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, this is basically my MacBook Pro 17-inch MacBook Pro uh, tied in with my Intuos 3 tablet. I have it on top of my keyboard because uh, I want to try to fit this in frame. So once again, I'm going to run Sketchbook Pro over here um, on the screen. And so here the, I have the tablet pen right here. And I got the, the paintbrush tool or the marker tool with a large marker on screen. So we can kind of see how well it, uh, it tracks. Now, uh, once again, there, I'll have to say that, that th there is probably very little lag in this setup. Um, it may just very well be the, the, the tech that Wacom has or Wacom has given uh, those tablets versus their own stuff that they use for their their dedicated tablets. So, and might, may, may, maybe if there is any lag, <clears throat> it's probably less noticeable because of the fact that um, well, you're not on the screen. You're you're drawing right on this on the surface over here of this of this tablet. And the if there is any lag, it's pretty much un it's unnoticeable. Um, but indeed. Um, it does track quite nicely, uh, so I would have to say that at this point, really honestly, there really is there's no no comparison. If you want true, pretty much no lag tracking, uh, to go with um, this kind of setup, obviously you're gonna you're this is not portable, uh, or it's not as portable because this is actually relatively large. This is the the six six by eleven uh, widescreen uh, and two os three, and um, well, as you can see, you know the, the, these you know this is a larger bulkier setup. So you're going to have to give up uh, uh, so, some of this uh, exact tracking uh, for, uh, for a tablet. The other thing you know, that, uh, that is part of having a dedicated tablet like this is uh, Wacom has the ability to detect the 
uh, tilt of the pen, which is something that none of those other tablets have the capability of doing. So much of this is going to depend on your style, whether you really want to just have a dedicated space at home to work with a dedicated tablet like this, uh, you know, to basically do your drawing. And uh, one other thing is that uh, these have a lot more pressure sensitivity than any of those, uh, any, of the, any of the tablets, even, including uh, you know, the Surface Pro Pro 3, the, the Samsung, they don't have nearly the, the level of pressure that you get with a dedicated tablet like this. But once again, this kind of tablet will run you about $400 uh, above and beyond uh, whatever laptop you decide to use. So um, so, there, so there you have it. It's a kind of a look at a comparison of how the styluses work. Um, you know, I can't say for sure if, if the Cintiq laptop, the uh, Cintiq tablet that uh, Wacom sells is any better than, than, than this uh, or if it's the exact same tech um, I guess it might be the same as what, what's here um, I'll have to see if I can get my get my hands on one to take a look see but but here's there you have it it's, it's, a, it's a look at how how the, the various different tablets I own that have digitizers uh, how they kind of stack up to an actual dedicated uh, Wacom tablet uh, that's on a computer uh, and uh, primarily the uh, concern about cursor lag uh, with the pen so pretty much non-existent with a dedicated tablet like this you're going to have some slight uh, lag um, on the on the surface uh, series as well as the samsung series so you're not going to be able to get away from that at all uh, so uh, is this something that you have to get used to like any other media tool you just have to get used to doing it that way or if it really is a problem this is your best bet then so there you have it thanks for watching